Drones have been used in warfare for decades, pilotless, radio-controlled aircraft were tested as far back as World War I, but the war in Ukraine has seen an explosion in the scale with which they're deployed. The deployment of smaller drones, which was inconsistent at the beginning of the war, has now become extremely organized and integrated into Ukraine's armed forces structure. Drones are playing very important role in the war between Russia and Ukraine. The drones also known as unmanned aerial vehicles are deployed by both sides in an unprecedented scale. Tanks, once the stalwarts of ground combat, are increasingly being sidelined by unmanned aerial vehicles in Ukraine. Drones, deployed as alternatives to traditional artillery, have been patrolling the skies, dropping explosives on humans and heavy armor alike. Drones play multiple roles on the battlefield, including conducting reconnaissance missions, directing artillery, evacuating soldiers, and carrying out attacks by deploying bombs. The tiny and inexpensive drones have proved to be one of the most potent weapons in this war. The Ukrainians used a swarm of drones to attack behind the Russian lines. Those drones heavily rely on GPS. The Russians are good at jamming GPS. Due to the jamming of GPS by Russians, many Ukrainian drones lost control and fell off the target. During the Cold War, the CIA used to refer to Ukrainians as the brains of the Soviet Union. Yes, Ukrainians are good at adapting to the situation. They used their brilliance to counter the Russians' jamming. The Ukrainians equipped their drones with artificial intelligence technology. Ukrainians designed drones capable of autonomously carrying out various tasks, such as reconnaissance, surveillance, target identification, and even precision strikes. Ukraine's drones equipped with AI have sophisticated countermeasures to avoid Russian jamming attempts. The AI technology allows the drones to adapt to changing situations on the battlefield, making them more agile and effective in carrying out missions. Drones in Ukraine first fly with the use of GPS when they encounter jamming by Russians, they use the preloaded map of the terrain and the targets. Each drone has a terminal computer with satellite and terrain data. Even the basic form of AI, known as machine vision, allows a drone to be programmed to map the terrain on its flight path ahead of its use in the field, meaning that the drone does not need contact with satellites. AI-powered drones can capture and process real-time intelligence gleaned from cameras and sensors. They can interpret visual information, detecting and recognizing objects, patterns, and anomalies, and as a result are able to navigate autonomously towards a given target. When a Ukrainian drone nears an oil field in Russia, it scans the field and selects the soft target itself. The aim of the selection is to cause maximum damage. Drones alone won't determine who wins battles, but they will play a vital role for military planners in the future.